Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Rad here from Radku Tarot and this is going to be Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon and uh, Cancer Rising weekly tarot reading for February 25th to March 3rd, 2019. And um, I went straight away to the uh, shuffling but I'm going to use the traditional uh, Reader Way Tarot deck, the Radiant version for those who are curious about it and uh, yeah while I'm continuing with the shuffling I want to remind you uh, once again that that is going to be a, a general reading for cancer star sign and uh, for that reason uh, the reading is going to resonate in a different way um, and in a different fields for every single different cancers because you guys have a different situations now, if you want more personal touch into it, like um, your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot cards, uh, you can go for a, a personal reading for it. And to do so, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there uh, you're going to find a, a full list of my services as well as uh, their pricings. And don't forget, if you go for that option, don't forget to buy the two the end of February all of the prices have massive reduction to make myself more accessible for the people we need or particularly in financial need or in financial struggle that is yeah okay so going to the cancer spread here for the week this is going to be a four card tower spread Additionally to it is going to be an enhanced one, which means that I'm going to draw additional card per position. But the first position, which points to the topic of the week, is going to be for you, Cancers, the Seven of Cups. Followed by the seven, uh, the, the second position here, which is the negative approach toward the situation. That is going to be the Two of Pentacles. The positive position or the third card in the spread, that is going to be the Eight of Cups. And the last card that we do have, which is the positive outcome should you follow the guidance of Tarot or the outcome of growth for you, that is going to be the Queen of uh, the Queen of Cups. So once again, Three of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, and the last one that is going to be the Queen of Cups. So. Quite a lot of cups, that is. I mean, it's definitely going to be a bit of an emotional week for you. And I can understand that because uh, there is a pretty strong narrative here. And I hope that I'm able to explain the narrative as best as I can. So you can connect it with your personal things here, with your personal endeavors. But what um, the narrative or where the narrative starts from is some sort of a... Uh, a disappointment or a realization from your behalf that things ain't gonna work at least not the way you are imagining them to work because with uh, these cards here or with that spread uh, cancers we do have a, a narrative where you will have to basically salvage something and move on knowing that a, a better perspective is about to emerge or it's a waiting for you just around the corner. So that could literally relate to everything that one has. It's simply uh, the, the very base of that could be where you may be underestimated the situation or simply you have been misled into that situation. Regardless of that, we are having the Seven of Cups as a topic of the week. So uh, basically what that card points is that your bubble is going to be bursted, all right, regarding either your relationship or regarding either your career. Um, the very least with that card, you are going to, at the very least, I mean, you're going to realize that it's going to take more time than, it, than, than you have initially anticipated. But usually when we do have the Seven of Cups, it, um, it kind of means that one have been either misled or did not take in the majority of the, the things under consideration here. And now through a bit of a disappointment, and I never said that this is gonna be a huge disappointment, all right? But through a, a bit of a disappointment, 
one is getting back in track with either their life, their relationship or their career as well. So from a positive aspect with this reading, you're going to get set back on your way. Or I mean, for example, if you have, if your question is, am I on the right path? Well, you are about to be at the end of this week, all right? Maybe not at the start, but at the end you are about to be. So it is important when we do have the Seven of Cups, especially as a uh, topic, to be very, very objective. And especially for those who are emotional, is there any cancer that is not an emo uh, that is not uh, a emotional being? I cannot figure because my interactions with cancers, there's, uh, they are always emotional and this is the last thing you want with the Seven of Cups because the majority of the deceit of that one thing can work out and the other cannot comes exactly from the emotions that are either inspired from someone else or from yourself. Okay, that could be as well self-deception here, that you are lying to yourself about something. And uh, pretty much being back on track by the end of the week is guaranteed to you by the Seven of Cups, but you do have a choice how to make that settling, all right? You can either become much more objective than you are right now and start thinking with your brain rather than with your heart, or... You can go with your heart, experience the disappointment, and the disappointment in se itself is going, to, is going to bring you back to earth. It's, it's as simple as that. Now, I got to touch the subject why this is taking such a place. Well, with the Seven of Cups, it means that something isn't exactly right with uh, the whole endeavor here that you have a great hope at. Either you have been withdrawn of an important information or um, someone else who is involved into that endeavor isn't doing their job as well, or simply you have been lied about how, you know, how developing that thing is gonna be. No different than, for example, someone presents you with awesome business plan and you fall for it while they itself know that what they are telling you is it, it's not true. It's simply it's, it cannot happen. So what I'm trying to say here, cancers, is that throughout the week is going to serve you great favor if you guard yourself from celluloid statements and from empty promises. Okay, especially if that is about offer or if it is about uh, relationship as well, I mean, with a newfound person, let's say the simple words, I love you may not be true, okay? So you got to put those things under question. You got to think once again with your mind and not with your heart when we do have the Seven of Cups. You, you think with your heart, things may work out for you, but they may not work out for you, all right? While thinking with your brain, things are definitely going to go your way. And the very least, you are not going to be as disappointed as the things can turn out with, uh, with you and thinking with your heart. So uh, the Knights of Pentacles is the catalyst here. And we do have passive friends. So uh, remember your goal. It is really what that card points out. Throughout the week, remember your goal. And when you remember your goal, think of it what is essential for your goal and how things really work in the majority because having the Knights of Pentacles, things are really, really simple, okay? Basically, you entered into this thing with the right understanding of it and with the right perception, but now, you know, something is messing up with that, so you got to remember where you came from and as well, you need to remember the things are simple, but they have certain chain, okay? So you cannot do the, 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 the thing at the end of that chain without doing these things beforehand. So pretty much what these cards are pointing here is follow your plan and do not deviate from your plan just because you hear something exciting or you meet someone exciting as well. Just follow your plan, put the one that it is exciting for you uh, under question and under test as well. Do not over trust people. And always when you act, those action has to be supported with, well, with, with big determinations 
and a lot of, of compassion toward oneself as well. These cards as well are pointing that if the situation becomes quite baffling for you and you don't know what to do, you don't know whom to believe to, because that is also um, kind of like possible here not to know whom to believe to, it's going to benefit you a lot if you spend some time alone um, among nature, preferably, because the Knights of Pentacles really loves nature, all right? And uh, through that uh, time alone, you are going to kind of like recognize that, uh, recognize what needs to be done here and recreate your, uh, your original strategy, either regarding your career or either regarding your relationship. Now with these couple of cards, I can get where you're coming from and why you're prone to be uh, deceived. Basically, these cards on a very superficial level are uh, showing great promise that you have been given or a, a great expectations uh, that you have. It's no different than the mother's hope for her children, you know, uh, because every mother have great hopes for her children, great dreams for them, what they are going to become when they grow up, but are they fantasies or seeds growing? What well, yet remains to be knowing, isn't it? So basically do not go ahead of yourself, that is important, just follow your plan step by step, keep it, keep it simple and stupid, the, key, the KISS principle, and it is highly unlikely that uh, you are gonna end up disappointed in any, in any way should you follow your plan. Now, which kind of comes into the contradictory uh, with the second card, and that is a good thing that comes into contradictory because the second card, it is what you should not do toward, toward the situation. What the Two of Pentacles points is that going with a certain plan and going with a, a certain uh, and fixed ideas, excuse me, it's not going to give you a result. But in this case, as this is in a negative position, means that going with adaptable plan and adaptable ideas is what is going to obstruct you here to be grounded and not to go into a disappointment state. So you don't want to be playful at all. I mean, you do have your plan, you do know what you want, uh, you know what is substantial for yourself and you have to follow it, you know, don't change the things into the very last minute. Don't change your approach, don't change your behavior, do not change your goals. As well with the Two of Pentacles, it is very, very important that you take one thing at the time. The last thing you want throughout the week is to juggle with many responsibilities and with many tasks as well. You can do my, th my way. For example, I do only one thing a day. I don't, I don't deal with multiple tasks a day. Uh, to give you an example, um, if I have to shoot videos, this is the day I'm gonna have to. Sh this is the day I will shoot videos. I will not do anything else apart from entertaining myself. It is just how I do things. All right, but uh, that is a very good way to strain away from the uh, two of uh, pentacles. But basically, what that card asks you here is not to multitask, as it's all about most multitasking with two of pentacles, and that is the negative approach. Okay, the one that is going to deprave you from growth. So two of pentacles here points as well that there could be some, how can I play, some leaks or some cracks in that plan of yours, okay? Whatever plan you have for your relationship or for your career for that matter. But instead of uh, filling up the gaps with additional things or with additional performance, you need to find a way to fix the cracks, if that makes sense. Or in other words, to uh, plug the leak, rather than to use it for something else. It's, it's, it, it is very difficult to explain it, so I will approach the matter from a different angle. So one of those minor changes could look as an opportunity, and what we said here is that you gotta go with your plans. You don't take advantage of anything new because you don't know how it's gonna turn out. It is very early to do so, not to mention that it's gonna make your plan and your original intentions much more heavier, heavier to 
um, to act upon, okay? And it's gonna add more stress, more responsibility to a point where you will not be able to control anything around you because Two of Pentacles is not about control at all. It's about being scattered and taking on things as they come around while you have to while you need to know exactly what you're going to do tomorrow all right then the next card that we do have or rather like the accompanied card with the two of pentacles that is the six of cups so uh yeah those those changes are going to be rather exhilarating what we do have is passive supporters uh, or passive friends excuse me here so uh you will you will find it very amusing to um take on those minor changes popping up here and there they're gonna be they're gonna seem refreshing all right but the the whole appearance of the six of pen oh, of the six of cups excuse me here only shows that they're gonna be trifles in compare in comparison to what you can achieve should you be strict um consecutive or rather like consistent and uh determined as well to follow your original goal uh, through the original plan that you have uh, created if you don't have a plan i strongly suggest you at the start of the week don't do anything guys but just make your plan and while you do so be objective that is important be very very objective so the positive approach toward the situation here what we do have that is going to be the eight of cups and the Eight of Cups is rather ominous card, or at least people tell that it is ominous card, you know, walking away, uh, feeling bad, and so on and so forth. While the Eight of Cups has another perspective in it. It says that you do need a, uh, a fresh wind in a sense of that to, um, how can I place it, to abandon some, um, some situations this additional changes that i talked about here and just move on knowing that if you are meant for them they are going to come around further into the future basically the eight of cups here points that you should believe in the greater good and uh, you should believe that your efforts at the end of the day are going to bear results also the card touches the subject where you will have to uh, swap positions in a sense of sacrificing one thing over another and in this case is about sacrificing the the exhilarating trifles for the greater good okay which itself points that throughout the week you may feel a little bit despondent really emotionally that is kind of understandable it is because you have to think logically and whatever emotions you have exhilarating ones you gotta suppress them but that is by far the better option rather than to give yourself away to these awesome emotions right now and fall disappointed for them from them excuse me a little bit down the road in a couple of days or maybe in a couple of weeks so with the eight of cups you gotta keep your expectations low you gotta keep uh, well i will say that way keep your expectations low do not presume anything do not concern yourself with what could be but only with what is right now and always be ready for the worst that is with the eight of cups in this specific follow-up and uh basically you do so you will know what how how you need to position yourself into that situation either regarding your career or either regarding your uh, relationship and knowing that this and you will you will know that that kind of like time of uh of despondency is near end here and uh, a much much better perspective is emerging for you soon so with the four of cups here accompanied we do have passive supporters with these cards and uh, another one that confirms that you have to be uh, analytic analytic uh, thinker in a sense of that the the four of cups says that there is a, a good opportunity around you but only those with keen minds are going to uh, 
are going to seize on it because the emotional ones are going to be stuck here in the past as you can see these cups they are in the past but the new opportunity coming from the cloud is not seen because one is indulging one's emotions one needs to kind of like look around himself and you look around for yourself when you realize realize not feel but realize that you can do something new all right so that is what you need to do and once again with the eight of cups it may require you abandoning certain positions in 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 social circle in career or in relationship that doesn't matter but the grand scheme of things matters because this plan now with that shade it and this goal goes far beyond that i want to be with that person instead of i want to be with that person the goal goes as far as i want to be happy whom with that is kind of irrelevant isn't it i mean if you are going to be happy with someone who cares who that one is going to be if that person is going to make you happy or i want to make good money should be the plan instead of i want that job because if you make a good money and you like what you do why you should concern yourself in which company you are doing the job at right i mean you gotta transcend your goal should your goal be narrowed to a specific person to a specific object or to a specific thing in general it has to be a subject not object all right the subject is being happy object is with jason for example disclaimer if your name kind of like uh resides with the one in the example it is pure co coincidence all right so yeah i mean you gotta transcend your goal and you are gonna do that throughout uh this week because um this is how it goes guys um, you can be happy with a specific person but for how long that is another thing all right and going through these appointments here and there are going to give you a glimpse of what kind of qualities that person needs to have and to keep on them as well not just having them by the initial state of the relationship but just going along with them in a prolonged period of time not to mention a lifetime so as soon as you see that that person starts to change the red flag comes up and uh, you seek your happiness elsewhere but it always should be that drive for happiness and not drive to be with someone else with with, with the specific person okay so that is what that week is gonna allow you to do so is it going to involve uh, some sort of uh, poignancy probably yes i mean especially if that is about an insight here so your insight tells you that the one you are with for example it's kind of like doesn't seem right any longer i mean it was good at the start but now things are just you know from a, a pure respect from each other rather than to having love in there so yeah it, it is time basically to start chasing the greater good the, the greater goal rather than the um the subjective one it's uh it's what i can see here in these cards and should you follow that guidance this uh person comes around which is the queen of cups and uh what that person is well that person it's a very a kind of like supportive one now that person knows very well what the what you're going through because they have been there before and also that person has a, a high sense of personal integrity and they can definitely keep a secret so what happens here is that they are going to support you emotionally through it so encouraging you in any way to uh, simply simply chase uh, your happiness usually a woman a very sensitive one and also with a high amount of um, intuition it could be as well a healer and a person who is uh, doing spiritual stuff like for example reading tarot cards or for example being a clairvoyance and so on and so forth but what the encouragement is going to be is that you are on the right path so this person is going to reassure you that uh, you did the right thing here because this is what you're gonna lack with the seven of cups 
yeah, you will know what you need to do, but in the same time, you may have a huge doubt that is, is that really the right thing I got to do? And uh, this person is going to reassure you into that. Let me see the uh, additional card here. So what we do have is passive neutrals. This person is going to reassure you that uh, you did the right thing and that person is going to help you to bear the consequences of your actions, which are going to be completely mental one, um, much more easily. The more stronger this person is, the weaker that car is. Basically, they take from one another. Or the more stronger the Ten of Cups is, the more determined that person to take away your pain is. So but at the end, we do have someone who takes away your pain. Um, the encouragement from that person goes as far as uh, they will make sure that you realize that what you did, because the doings are going to be different for every single one of you, was the right thing. The whole situation required very drastic measures and some sort of a decisions that were tough calls, but they were a necessity here in order for you to embark a new era of your life. And just like I said, that era is going to be transcending your goal rather than sticking to the um, subjective one. Okay. And uh, it, it seems that you're going to have a, a very good friend of very least and a very faithful companion afterwards, hopefully for a lifetime. But definitely the, the appearance of that person standing next to you and truly taking away the pain, the disappointment as well, and the lack of confidence for those who are not confident enough is going to serve you a, a great deal of, uh, of help. And uh, we will encourage you to truly chase the grand scheme and the grand achievement, the, the grand goal, rather than the subjective one. So uh, that was uh, your uh, weekly tarot reading cancers for February 25th to March 3rd, 2019, excuse me. So uh, I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, that was, again, a general reading for cancer star sign. And for that reason, it's going to resonate in a different level, in a different way and in a different field for every single different cancers. So if you want your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot on a more personal level, you know, uh, then that is the subject of a personal reading. And for such, you can go to my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. And should you go for that option, uh, you need to know that till the end of February, which is very, very soon, all of my prices are severely reduced to make myself uh, more accessible for the people in need, in true need, and especially for the people who are truly struggling financially. So, rat signing out now, guys. See you around. Bye.